Hi, welcome to Ikate's Crossing. Okay, what I want to talk about is deep diving into Lorraine Anderson, Juliet Diaz, Seasons of the Witch, Selhain Horacle. So this is what I sort of want to start diving into. So I've just sort of started on my blog, just looking at the first eight cards. So the first eight cards were, let's have a look, what have we got here? Got black cat and bat. We just looked at A and B to start with. So I didn't mean to um next to anyway. So we've got altar, all hallows, Eve, ancestors, apples. So let's have a look. I've had a sort of a quick look, broom, at these cards. Banshee. So I sort of wrote up um, my own quick thoughts um, as I looked at these cards. Like, let's look at the Banshee. Banshee to me reminded me of the screaming Banshee. She's a warning, an omen um, to what could happen um in your life so when the banshee card comes up it's sort of a bit of a warning to be aware of maybe someone around you or be aware of your situation maybe the consequences of your actions being taken that sort of thing um when that card comes up when i think of broom it's thinking about to me about clearing away um the debris making way for the new so you're clearing away cleansing away sweeping the stuff that no longer serves you well or something that's not doing you such a good thing and so you want to make way for your new dreams your new goals or wherever you're headed apples i thought of actually love and then i re then i sort of looked at this closely and it sort of reminded me of sense of poison so it felt a sense of deception so maybe there's some deception going on someone's untrustworthy um in your path at this time so it does feel very much like there's a sense of poison toxicity in your life on some level here we have the ancestors and we're talking about those that are from your past or from your family um, maybe you've inherited something from them there's a connection with your ancestors in some way whether through ritual um, all Hallows Eve, of course, is like Selhain, so it's reminding us that that connection to the um, past, that veil, or to the spirit world, is very thin, very, very fine. It could talk about the ritual of Selhain. This is about celebrating those that have passed in some way, maybe a connection to the, um, to our, um, to deities in some way, and deity, deities in some way. Alter can talk about honouring, um, also about honouring um, or devotion, worship, um, the sense of our sacred space. Bat is about our psychic abilities, working, um, working with our own intuitive, working with our own psychic abilities in um, connecting with the changes and things going on in our life. And then we have Black Cat, which to me is about being independent. It's about um, having that sense of independence, but also that security of hope or returning to home as well. That sort of reminds me of the Black Cat in regards to that. So that's what I've sort of started with. Um, there's a lot more going on. I will um, move through this process in the next few days as I go through and sort of learn basically what these cards could mean so that's it from me don't forget to check the links down below check the links on my channel like subscribe and ring that bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded take care and blessed be